Hey there everyone, I won't take much of your time. I am Mr. Stu, I'm a child therapist and I'm so excited to join you today to talk just real quick about why understanding kids' emotions is so important or why helping children to understand their emotions is so important. Maybe you're a parent, a caregiver, someone who works with children and you have this belief that children today are soft or they're too emotional or every child just has something going on and maybe you don't understand this whole movement to under to help children understand their emotions more maybe you're of the mindset of they just need to be in control they just need to learn to control themselves they just need to behave they need to be able to sit still they need to be able to focus they need to just do what we tell them to do and then their emotions whatever that'll work itself out and I want you to know that these things are related. Children's behaviors, whether they're positive or they're disruptive, and children's emotions are highly, highly interconnected. Here's a way to think about it. Emotions cause energy. In the brain, there is actual energy that's released when children are feeling emotions, especially big emotions. So while they're feeling these different emotions, there's energy that's building up and building up and building up and building up. And that energy has to go somewhere. It's not able to just go away. It has to come out somehow. And you can imagine almost like a balloon. If you were blowing up a balloon and it was getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, and bigger eventually either you have to let the air out of that balloon or it's going to pop out of that balloon kids emotions are the exact same way we want them to be able to control them we want them to be able to just stop and sit still and focus and listen and behave we want all of those things but there's all this energy that has to go somewhere when children are validated in their emotions, when they see that the adults in their life understand what they're feeling and tell them that it's okay to be feeling that way, some of that energy is able to be released. But if that emotion is not validated, if the emotion is shut down, or if the adult focuses only on the behavior and not the emotional side of the behavior, then what starts to happen is that energy keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until the child has a way to release some of that energy, either through physical activity or talking to someone that they trust, or it will pop out in some type of disruptive behavior. It's all interconnected. It, it, and so yes, emotions and behavior might seem to be separate sides, but really they're two sides of the same coin. And if you want that coin to work together, you have to be able to validate, identify and validate those emotions. And that's what can help children regulate and tolerate those emotions. Identify and validate and then regulate and tolerate. The way that you can help your child in understanding and being able to handle their emotions is by validating them. When you look at a child who's maybe showing some type of disruptive behavior, are you able to look at them and say, oh, I see that this is really hard for you. Oh, I see that you are really sad right now. Oh, I see that you are really angry right now. Can you say that first? before you jump to, and I can't believe that you are, da, 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 whatever it might be. Could it be, I see that you are really upset right now. What you're doing isn't okay, but I would love to help with whatever might be going on. And when you do that, you're targeting the root of the behavior, not just the fruit of the behavior. The fruit is the thing you can see. The root is the thing that you cannot see. So emotions are that root. Emotions are that side of, of whatever is coming out that is not visible to the eye, but it's there. It's the thing that's driving all of this behavior. If you just chop off the fruits, if you just deal with what you can see, those roots are going to produce other fruits. That energy has to go somewhere. 
That's why it's so important for children to understand their emotions when they can identify, validate, regulate, and tolerate. That disruptive behavior will decrease and they will be set up to be able to handle other situations where they might feel intense emotions as well. Here at Mr. Stew TV, we are all about making tough emotions child's play. We want to partner with you and help you come up with fun activities, videos, and engaging moments to be able to show children that their emotions are valid and there are healthy ways to express them. We hope that you'll join us in our mission to make sure that all children are seen, heard, understood, known, and loved. And I am so excited to share with you more resources, more activities, more lessons, more excitement, more creative and engaging moments discussing mental health so that kids can thrive. We'll see you, I will see you again very soon. Me and the crew are so excited that you have decided to join with us. And I'll see you soon. Peace.